Link 2012. Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of... Uh... From Ashes? <laughs> I forgot the name of the map already. I'm so sorry. It's a fun map. I've had a lot of fun so far. Um, man, this is an embarrassing intro. Am I gonna... No, we must continue. We must continue with the video. Uh, we're gonna be continuing with this map. We're not gonna be streaming it. I haven't had a lot of people joining me on the stream. Um, and I do have Christmas break. I've gotta go. So I'm gonna record some of these episodes. Uh, edit them a tiny bit, and then set an upload. I have a lot of downtime between these episodes in terms of, well, I need to actually get equipped for the next dungeon. So that's where we're going to, I'm going to show you guys all the action basically, and we can keep the boring stuff for off camera. Uh, all right. So dungeon number four is over this way. So we're going to go over this way. Now it is nighttime. And you might normally think, well, nighttime, that's probably a terrible thing, right? The fact of the matter is, is that during the night, lots of mobs spawn on the surface. That reduces the number of mobs spawned in dungeons. And especially if this person didn't add spawn pads in their world, I don't know how many spawn pads they've added exactly. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Let's go check. Is this is this where we need to go? Dungeon number four. Uh, catacombs do not enter without the guide. There's a room. Oh, we didn't check this out yet. Holy hand grenades! I'll take it. We figured out that music discs are useful recently. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'll try to keep the looting a little minimum, but still be somewhat liberal. All right. Got skeleton skull right there. We'll try to blaze through this to some extent. Oh, wow, there's a lot of bones here. This might be handy later on. Special arrows, always handy. The poison ones might not be so great. So upper clip crypts over this way, lower crypts over this way. Tourist section of the catacombs do not steal any bones, do not tamp, trample over the bones. These were once people. <laughs> I love that because, ironically, all the people have been mutated and turned to skeletons. The nice thing about this is that I don't have to worry about looking at chat all the time. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've had problems recently um, where I don't see messages. So this way, it's a lot more convenient for me. Um, enough about that. I kind of tempted to grab bones. I think we'll be fine. Oh. So currently, as you can probably tell, we have diamond armor level armor at this point, thanks to this little thing right here. We're not going to have to worry too much about damage. Oh boy, that looks scary. Whatever that thing is. All right, looks like we should be fine. What's that? What's that guy's name? I don't even know. Oh, that's rare. Iron Skeleton. As we are, you will be. Not eerie at all. <laughs> Section off limits. Tourists not allowed. We're not a normal tourist. We're actually here for the goods. Um, this basically makes us immobile but makes us invincible. Kinda neat. All right, so far we haven't gotten too much great loot. Not too much bad loot either. My guess is that we probably should go this way first. Section off all this. All right, nice chain chest plate. Looking good. This dungeon has a really nice feel to it so far. I'm enjoying myself. All right, what's up with you? It's not a trap chest. Uh, not handy. Oh, 
that is the one problem with having uh, healing potions on my hotbar. If you accidentally use them. That is a trap. Man, all these are little traps. Spider spawning in there. What's this say? Off limits for tourists. You already had a sign back there. Oh, no. 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 That's what I feared. Where's that spider, by the way? The one thing that can kill us are these potions. Because armor does not defend against them. Okay. You... I've got to get out of here. If we're not careful, we're dead. That is why I keep potions on my hotbar. <laughs> Looks like there's four custom mobs over there at the very least. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in here while we're being poisoned to death. I did not bring any recovery items in terms of removing the poison, so we're just going to have to wait it out. All right. Hopefully these episodes will be around 30 minutes long. I'm not sure exactly yet. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering how that trap was gonna work. Oh, come on. Come on! If half the episode isn't spent dying to poison. That's one caveat. Trying to see if I missed anything. I like the little traps in here. Glad we didn't get caught by that one. One of the one of the traps that I've actually noticed, so it makes me pretty proud. Oh nuts, I'm poisoned for another ten seconds again. My guess is that that thing's just gonna keep spawning spiders though. So we maybe should do a rush for it. Wish they had more potions to heal me. Don't really have any options right now. I'm gonna let it up a tiny bit. To the extent that I'm able. Oh, hello there. He's not hostile yet. Which means I'm okay. Oh, we got some iron right here. I got a pickaxe for it. This bow has everything I need on it, which is good. Power four, flame one. I heard ya. It's actually a spawner over here. Let's take out the spawner before moving on. I wanna grab the iron there. I've already got a lot of iron, but actually, you know what? We do have a lot of iron. We really don't need more. Alright, sorry, some texts. Oh, come on. Okay, fair enough. There's a lot of mobs here. This is why I really like the fact that I actually have some weapons that can kill them really quickly. Oh, come on. Nope. Get out of Oh, he's got fire resistance now. Not for long. Alright, what's this? Goodbye, journal. Okay, let's go ahead and read this quick, quick. Billy is somewhere out there, on the surface, alone in the darkness and ashes. I can't go and get him. I'm scared. Potatoing coward. All my fault. I shouldn't be drinking this much. I shouldn't have been at the pub with Dolan, leaving my kid alone at home. And now I'm hiding in this creepy, filthy crypt. And he is probably dead. Forgive me, Billy. Dude, Billy's from earlier. Remember the kid who was, a. Uh, so there was an earthquake, right? Billy talked about an earthquake in his journal. And he was missing his father who fell with the house. I believe that's what happened. And so this is the father's journal. Oh, that's so sad. Dude, I feel like that's pretty much the entirety of this map is just sadness. <laughs> um, some terrible thing happens. Sets, gets, sets people apart. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and drop off everything we don't need. 
Hopefully we don't end up seeing them as zombies with each... Actually, it would be kind of re reassuring to see them as zombies with each other. It might be kind of cute. Alright, there's that room over there with the traps. I really don't want to check it out. Oh, nice. Okay, go go hit the, the zombie pigmen. Right, I don't like these zombie pigmen. They're putting me... Okay, there we go, finally. That's what I was hoping would happen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, though. Are they after me now? They are. Okay. We have experience with this, playing super hard, so... Get out of here. Alright. Adios, spider. Taken care of. Not a huge problem, just a nuisance. Nuts. Yeah, cave spiders are really bad in terms of their reach. Okay, I don't think he's mad at me anymore. But that's good to know. I, I was wondering what would happen, because basically if you set their anger tag to being angry, they will attack you by default. So my guess is that the skeleton set off their tag, and one of the zombie pigmen that wasn't hit particularly by the skeleton saw me as the enemy. Nope. Get out of here. What on earth? <laughs> I can't hit him. Yeah, cave spiders are really annoying. Probably my least favorite mob, because poison you for 10, 15 seconds. It's more on hard, which is what we're playing on. Get out of here. I really want whatever loot's in there, though. Because typically it's the harder areas that have the better loot. Infinity and punch, I'll take it. Okay. Go away. Uh, is there anything else in here? I don't think there's anything in here, really. There's a place down there. That's about it. There's the anvil, which I don't need. Alright, that was worthless. We should probably rush through things faster. Instead of trying to... Take it slow on places like that. Yeah, especially in places like this, if we can light it up or take down the spawners, that'll make our life easier. We can kill the mobs. Adios. Okay. Goodbye, zombie. Good night, other zombie. Did I see a chest? I did not. What's this? Boost your endurance? Oh, nice. Seven max health, one in offhand. Okay. Did I see a spawner? No, I didn't. Okay, I will take that. That's actually a really good item. We have a bunch of interesting offhand items currently. This is by far my favorite one, though. The, the extra armor. What? This guy has... Oh, he's aghast. Part of me wants to just rush through the rest of this. Go away. Uh, actually, it's interesting. I have fire protection four. I got uh, one of my enchants off camera. Enchanted a pair of leggings. I got fire protection four. That's what I'm looking forward to in doing this episode format. So I'll be able to update you guys on exactly what happens between them. I'll say, well, I got this, that, and the other thing. That's what we're wearing now. Here's what episode's going to look like. Okay. Got a trap room over there. Surface access core chamber. Let's go to surface access first. That way, in case we die here, we know exactly how to get back. Right over. Oh, I was. I, th I was like, that's grass. We're at the surface, right? No. Apparently the surface is really high up here. We're still not at the surface, holy smokes. Yeah, 
There we go, we're finally up here. Okay, cool. We're down this way. Let's go back down. See if we can find anything. Uh, nice sword. Uh, nothing really else. Let's go ahead and plop some of our items in here real quick. This is good. I really like the wave emitter. Some more backpacks would be nice. So, obviously this room is not too safe. Um, it's just got s some instant damage. Slowness. Poison. Watch these be trap chests. This one isn't. one wasn't either. Interesting. Alright, well, looks like this room was relatively safe, despite <laughs> the looks of it. Just meant to put you on edge. It's cool. Dude, the number of traps here is crazy. Oh, is that it? Oh, I see. So if you had stepped on a pressure plate, so you would have to uh, contend with all of these. But since we didn't do that, we got it off really easy. Uh, two more of these. Some more bread. Okay. That was fairly easy. Is that it? I think that's it. That was a fairly short area. I'm actually kind of surprised. But hey, that means it's a short episode. <laughs> uh, it's definitely good with this armor. It's made this way less of a challenge for us, which is good. I don't think I'm going to end up using the lapis in the end, even if it does increase our health by seven. If I can get it to stack with something else, I might. Because sometimes those stack. So if it was like plus 20% health, then that would stack with the plus seven. And at that point, it would definitely be worth it. But for now, I'd rather have pretty much maxed armor. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and organize all of this off camera. This will probably be the end of this episode. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you would like to see me do in the future. Uh, if it was worth your time, leave a like. If not, leave a dislike. Till next time, don't forget to contribute and make the most of your day.